Hi guys, welcome back to Sunny Sam's Play. It's freezing as it was the other night, lights fading as in most of our videos. We just wanted to bring you a quick update on the quad. Um, it's not a quad, it's a hexa, but you've uh, come to expect that from us by now. Well, we've got some new batteries and a little parallel connector. Mal can put the um, description in the details. As part of the accounts we did the other day, I think we accounted £35. It's coming just under 40 So she's still 200 quid in the air. So I think that's the most important bit. Um, stick scaling we've brought down ever so slightly. I was over controlling it the other day. Haven't done any exponential or anything on the transmitter. We're trying to get it as good as we can on the board. It's a KK2 version 2.0. So that's not one of the uh, 2.1s. So we just wanted to give you that update, do a quick flight video. Uh, more importantly, we have just put the watts meter on it, all up in the hover. She's drawing just under 30 uh, watts using my uh, little watts meter here. So it was just under 30 watts, so um, amps, sorry, should I say. Um, so let's get her in the air. Lisa's going to do a quick flight time for us with the two batteries. What's the um, total amperage out of the two batteries, Malcolm? 20, uh, they're 2650 each. 2650, so 26. we've got about 5,000 online. Um, I reckon my fingers might give up before the batteries, but uh, let's Shall, get I, shall I do all the, the, the subtraction and multiplication and stuff for the channel? Yeah, do that later. It's 5300. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. There she is. And it is quite windy today, guys. And as you can see, apart from a little bit of drift, she's really good. And uh, by all accounts, the new Hobby King, uh, the new Hobby King KK 2.1 is very, very stable. Um, it's a vast improvement on the, uh, the KK 2.0 version 1.6 that we're flying today. And as you can see, there's a fair bit of uh, fair bit of juice in it now. We're running the four cell setup. Right, okay, not a long, not a massive flight, but it's freezing, and we're at two minutes, 23, 24, 25. So. So far, so good. Um, looks like it probably needs a little bit of fine tuning now, doesn't it? But um, it feels fairly solid with me. I mean, um, I could probably do some work on the sticks just to make it a little bit cleaner. But I'm, I'm fairly happy with the way she's flying. And that's why we have got that breeze in our face. seconds and absolutely no dramas. Um, flying very solid. Al's getting bored so he's having a bit of a fly around with the uh, with the top. Uh, looking at that, still got plenty of fun. <laughs> it looks pretty solid though, Al. Yeah, I'm really touching it on and my fingers are literally numb now. Um, so I'm having a hard time keeping on, well not a hard time keeping on top of her, I mean there's not a lot of keeping on top of her to do. Okay guys, so the voltage alarm was set up for uh, 110 on the KK2, we've upped that to 143 for 4 cells, that might actually be wrong. So rather than puff the brand new batteries, we're going to go for a landing now, um, and we can recharge the batteries and let you know what goes into them, so what's left, so we can do a calculation then. Time on the clock Lise is? Uh. 7 minutes 45. 7 minutes, so I'm fairly impressed that my fingers have held out that long, but um, let's get her on the floor. Uh, yet again, we've done very, very little work on the board. All we've done from absolute minimum to make it work is um, do a tiny bit on the stick scaling. So there's still quite a lot that can be done to the setup. Uh, we've heard some good things about the KK2 version 2.1. This is the version 2.0. But 
the, the frame is absolutely rock solid. I'm really impressed. We've gone for all the parts. You know, it is the lower end of the hobby. We are using cheap props. There's a bit of washout when I'm putting the throttle in, but we saw plenty of punch. I think anyone that spent £200 to put that in the air would be very, very happy with their investment. Um, so we'll keep on playing with it, guys. We'll charge them batteries, let you know what's left in them. Mal could put some stuff in the description about anything we've missed out due to uh, hypothermia. And uh, we're going to get back in the car before that happens. Thanks for tuning in.